And I'm here at a house that's uh, built in the uh, about night. And uh, we're going to see what I can find here. It's in a, a raised uh, ground. It's got a wall. And uh, we're going to see what we can find. It's not a very big yard in the front. The back is bigger. And uh, anyway, we're going to see what we can do here. All right, well, this is the most metallic ground I think I've ever been on. As a matter of fact, it turned out over on one side of the property right over there. Uh, there's an iron, there's an iron uh, tank underneath. I guess it's an oil tank. <laughs> I discovered that after I went crazy with metal. But anyway, I just dug up a place here near the uh, steps. Um, front steps and uh, got my first coin and it's so shallow I kind of don't expect it to be much but we'll see and it isn't it's a it's a clad clad dime uh, let's see if I hang on let me see if I get a vintage okay it is a uh, 67 so we're in the 60s already starting off so I'm happy with that uh, first one first sign of being in the right era well talking about a close call you can't get much closer than that it's on the side wall of the dig and if I didn't scratch it, I'll be surprised. Because that's where it's laying, right there. Um, let's see what it is. So far, all I've found here is stinking Lincolns. Found two, not many. There's so much iron in this ground. Oh, we have a weedy. We have a weedy. Hmm, how about that? I'll take it. Now we're getting into the right vintage. Let me see if I can find a date. All right, the best I can come up with is, is a 1920 something. Maybe a, it looks like a 23 or a 28, something like that. 1920 something, three or eight, I think. Anyway, we're headed in the right direction anyhow. Okay, uh, just found that penny here went back over it and I had a signal uh, which was really 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 iffy and it was right next to it so anyway it was not coming in as a real coin but it was a good signal so just dug next to it and this is what I found and it's a piece of I guess a piece of iron I don't know what it could be, if anything. But it was designed purposely, purposefully for something. Could have been a part of a tool, maybe. Anyway, we'll get back to looking for real stuff. Well, just under the surface here, Got another signal. Turns out to be a our beloved Lincoln coin. Lincoln Zinken. Well, back to the drawing board. So oh, while I'm here, uh, close to the detector, thought I'd show you my. Uh, set up for my wireless headset headphones this is uh, this is a transmitter Bluetooth transmitter uh, got it off got this from uh, uh, Amazon for about 29 bucks 
I have a little bit of Velcro on the bottom here and a little bit of Velcro there and I keep it just under the here. I've seen people put it here. Uh, this cable is not long enough. Uh, put, uh, put the transmitters there, but the cable is long enough. This particular cable is not long enough to reach up there. It works perfectly right there. It stays in place. I don't have a problem with it. And uh, this is the Bluetooth headphones that I'm using. Uh, it connects right up. Uh, immediately I have no trouble connecting this, uh, making connection. Um, people tell you that there's a delay in the sound. Uh, if there is, for me it's nearly undetectable. I think at, every once in a great while I, I can kind of get an idea that there might be a delay. But if there is, it doesn't affect me being able to use them effectively. They work very well and uh, they're nice, they're comfortable. I can wear them for hours and uh, the battery lasts on these about 10-12 hours same thing's true about the battery on that I, so far I haven't had to replace the battery after that we'll get back to oh, one more thing um, I saw someone on uh, YouTube use a, a PVC bag uh, that you can get off the internet um, I got 25 bags for three dollars uh, then you put it over the, you cut it to length, a little bit more than half of a, a 8 by 12 bag, and it fits right over the top of this. Pull it down, use a heat gun, and uh, it shrinks right on down. On the, on the, underneath of it, you put a little bit of tape before you shrink it. Uh, clear packing tape is what I used and cut out a notch for the uh, for the lock and uh, it makes it uh, dust proof and not totally waterproof, well waterproof to a greater extent than not having it um, it's uh, it works I'm trying it out I put on the edges of the uh, corners I put some clear tape to reinforce it make it stronger and uh, in the weak spots, corners are weak spots. Um, I don't know if I had to, but I did it. And uh, anyway, it works so far. I'm happy with it. Keeps the detector clean from uh, mud. It's, uh, you can see right through the screen without any difficulty. Of course, <laughs> it's not showing me too good here because we have uh, some glare on it, but anyway, nonetheless, I I'm experimenting with it. Yep, this would look like a wild goose chase. Got a pretty deep hole here. <laughs> I guess maybe six, seven inches, and uh, for some reason, this coin uh, almost discriminate it discriminated out because it's surely shouldn't have and here it is I found it in the clump after digging that big hole and it is just a just a something or other what is it yeah, it's a clad quarter let me see if I get a date on it yep 78 clad quarter. I'll work for that one. Well, let's see if we can find some silver. Guess what was in that same hole? Well, first time for me. It is a glass marble. I think we used to call these uh, cat eyes. Um, And there's stuff inside or pattern inside of it I don't know uh, I did tap the ground and hit it with a shovel that's how I found it and uh, I think I chipped 
the glass a little bit there. But anyway, first marble I've ever found, which is <laughs> surprising because I didn't think I'd ever find a marble. I'm learning the uh, Explorer 2. Uh, I'm going between, back and forth between the Explorer and my Tesoro Tejan, which i am got a lot of hours on and I know it pretty well, so I'm just kind of double checking with this. And uh, that's how I found that quarter. I had been over this area uh, with the uh, Explorer, and uh, I don't know, I may have just not gotten the coil over the uh, coin. That could be the case, but uh, it came out loud and clear with the Tejon. Okay, <clears throat> like I said, I'm using a Tejon. Getting a signal right here. Not really a good coin signal. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig it anyway. Just see what it is. And it wasn't a good coin signal, and it's proved out to be a piece of metal. Um, and not a good coin signal. It does not look like it's anything, you know, significant. Anyway, that's what it was. All right, here's something that sounds like it could be a coin. Push the discriminate button at level two and it does not discriminate out. It's good and solid. It's pretty small, so I'm going to see what it is. And here amongst the roots, I did find <laughs> a penny. Yep. Zink and Lincoln, rotting away, rotting away. Eventually all this money will be rotted away and the uh, government will be that much richer because all the money will be gone out of circulation and the earmarked money will stay earmarked. Okay, I was over here with the uh, with the other machine and uh, the Explorer and uh, didn't detect this although I can't swear that I was actually in this exact spot but anyway uh, just below the surface very shallow I uh, found a, a quarter and I'm sure it's just a regular oh it is clad it's a clad it is a clad uh, 1988. Well, get back to work here. I tell you, I've been to a lot of places with a lot of iron in the ground, but I believe this whole property is literally coated in iron. I mean, uh, there's iron everywhere. I mean, it is, it's just the most pervasive I've seen anywhere. If you took an iron mesh and laid it down first and then put down the property, that would be like uh, what I'm detecting here. But anyway, I just dug this hole right here. Where did it go? Oh, there. It fell in. I couldn't see where it went. And in the hole. Didn't find a coin, but interesting little piece of decoration, metal decoration. Looks like a leaf. Well, I'll get back to it. I'm getting ready to wind up here. Been around here with two detectors. Uh, each one had its strengths. And uh, going back over here on the way out. And 
discovered a in a, another shallow way. I kind of whacked the devil out of that. If it had been valuable, it would have been ruined. But it wasn't valuable. It was a stinking zinking. So I lucked out. Even in that good, I lucked out uh, with a zinc. Because if it had been a silver coin, I'd have had to. I can't tell you what I had to do, but tears would be involved. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, I'm headed out of here, so I figured I'd do this little strip on the way. And uh, sometimes you find old stuff here, but I think I just on the shallow, shallow dig. I think I just found myself another Lincoln. Yep, that's what it is, a Lincoln. Well, I'll keep you looking. <laughs>